Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson's got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk you can see exactly what's in his scope. Muhammad Ali's poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fighter. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. Ali's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How could it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. Hey, if you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing is to set up his other punches. How does the power puncher actually use the jab to close the gap against this outside fighter? How does he employ that strategy? So I think it's a little bit like if you're a carpenter and you're making a table. You take your measuring stick out and you see how much wood you need, how long the table is. Well, same thing if you're a fighter who wants to get inside with a boxer, you got to see how much distance you have to close. If there's a lot of distance, you need three, two jabs. One is not going to work. Right to the head with that right. Right to the belt line. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Keep going. Mike Tyson's right hand scores well. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Flush right hand to the head. This round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Nice work, King. Good job that round. Real nice. There you go. Deep breath from me, all right? Take it in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're in control of this fight now. Keep it up. Nice work. Nice work. Here we go. Round two is underway. Now there's the jab. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. And now he's targeting upstairs. Hook off the jab! Hook off the jab! 
Teddy, a Mike Tyson left hook. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from everywhere. I mean, he wants to make sure that he annihilates you. So he puts everything into it. Shoulder snap, body, back, everything. by an uppercut. Halfway through this round. To the head he goes with a left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Turn the sender with the left hand. Well off the mark by Mike Tyson. A well-placed overhand right. Muhammad Ali lands the huge uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Big shot, the right came clean. Tyson's legs can't fail him now. Oh, my, is he taking damage. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find right. out Deep why breath. he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Relax. Relax. Are you all right? Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round, the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. Solid left hand to the head. That's okay. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Ali's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Defense, good defense. Teddy, in terms of pure strategy, Facing Mike Tyson, what can you take advantage of? Well, he needs to be set to punch, so obviously you don't want to stand right in front of him. You want to give him angles. You want to give him some lateral movement. Keep him off balance. Keep his feet moving. If his feet are moving, his hands usually are not coming at you. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. Ali's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had Deep one coming jab, right man. back Good at job. him. His opponent Use scored well ring. with the counter. The whole ring. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. Little head knocking with that right hand. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Combination to the head. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Just listen to me, man. We got it. If you want this fight, you gotta stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punch. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel them ropes, move away. Go. Keep going go. just like that. You're doing fine. You're going to take this one, baby. You're going to take this one. I think our fans out there will be curious to see your scorecard here at the beginning of round number four. Tyson's been willing to throw punches. He His punch output is high, but he has not earned a round on your scorecard.
Yeah, but Joe, that's why they call it the sweet science. It's not enough just to grab a guy, put him in the ring, and say throw punches. You gotta throw at the right time, at the right distance. You don't do that, you pay a price, you lose rounds. There you go, nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Tyson showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are gonna get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is gonna stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Up top with the right hand. He is damaged badly there. Oh! Of course, Mike Tyson has a history with being down, but not necessarily out. Will this be like the first knockdown against Buster Douglas or the final? One, two, three, four, five. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Devastating blow by Mike Tyson. He gets off with a combination up top. Keep moving, keep moving. Back to the body. Commits to the straight right. Ali with a big left. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. You have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab, all right? Keep throwing that jab. Relax, 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 you just gotta relax. You gotta move out there, all right? Move, move, move. Okay, keep moving, breathe now, breathe. You good? We can recoup from that. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport of profession where Finish hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion, we hope, but it's attached to his jab, it's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab, he has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Mike Tyson's cracked by a right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. That's it. Hook. Hook. Oh. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Tyson was hurt. Now Tyson looks to have his feet back underneath him. Yeah, but does he have his mind right? Is he still going to be the seek and destroy fighter that he's been before? Headshot lands was a hook. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Decide to trade there. It's okay, let's go. Scores up top with a left. One, two, one, two. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And we come to the end of the round.
Ali's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have him ahead on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? Breathe. Breathe in. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. Yeah, remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Nice block by Mike Tyson. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in... What a big shot. How much more can Tyson take? Not the first time this has happened tonight. One, two, three, four, five. Tyson's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Good double jab by Muhammad Ali. Up top, that was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Tyson's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. Hook off the jam. Hook off the jam. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Muhammad Ali. Double jab, such a useful tool, especially to the body like that. Nice work on the outside. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. There you go. He's almost done. You had him in that round. You in control. Next round, now let's keep busy. Good job. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands now. Let's keep him up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope? For him. He's Look, been knocked down numerous times. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Locking that punch. Very good defense by Mike Tyson. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Ali's out at longer range. He's staying away from some danger spots defensively. Well, he knows he has an opponent who has to be set to punch and who's very dangerous in those spots. So he's doing what he should be doing. Keeping him off balance, giving him angles. Fight a smart fight. Double jab right to the face. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Scored well with the left downstairs. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Muhammad Ali.
And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. And this round comes to an end. Right, back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up and use your fence to cut the ring off. Uh, Get wind is going back. Back him up. Always use the fence. You're fighting his fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. Now I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. As we start round number eight, Muhammad Ali's up on Teddy's scorecard. I think that's clear to see, Teddy, but it's also clear to see that it has not been the easiest of nights for him. No, and it's clear to see we're coming up to a fork of the road. It could go either way. We're going to find out. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. applying an old axiom in sports and that is speed kills he's got plenty of it in the ring tonight yes he does he's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed find something that can offset that speed and i think that starts with controlling range get out of the range where he can control you where he can use that speed Sends that right to the head. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't thrown back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. This round is in the books, it and it looks guy, like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading right towards right empty right here. What just is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. Let's go. The other guy is starting mean? to impose himself on him. Then let's get moving out there. Here you go. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Ali's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. He missed with that headshot. the headshot but he parries it away here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand Muhammad Ali's got that catch me if you can kind of attitude he's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot but his movement's been so good his defense is just supreme yeah it is he's moving from the waist he's slipping the straight shots he's weaving the hooks he's doing a real magical job in there but his opponent is making no adjustments at all. In and out. In and out. Ooh. Ooh. Your head. A little give and take, 
and here comes the left hand. And he ties up on the inside. Stay away from this. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Fires right back at him. Listen to me. This is it. One more round. I want you to catch him on the way in, okay? Time your upper cut when he comes forward. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in volume. Nice work, King. Good job there, Brown. Real nice. Now listen, champ. You need to move your head more from side to side, okay? I want to see that head moving more, all right? They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He scored well after being hit himself. Sender with the left hand. Ali's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Unable to make an impact there by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Finish with the hook. Don't let him get at you. Tyson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. So dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. All the rounds in the books for the official decision. Let's send it up to the ring. This was a sure and steady effort by Muhammad Ali tonight. And it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.